Hello guys, it is Greg back here again with another video. Sorry it's been three weeks. School has consumed my soul, as you heard in my last video where I'm busy with school. So I had this little idea just pop in my brain. There is currently no way you can lock your switch. And by lock, I mean you can make you can uh set the home you can set the lock screen so you have to tap a button three times. But I mean like an actual lock, where nobody can get into your games and play them without a password. So I had a little idea, I tried it out, and it works pretty well. You can uh, go to the Nintendo Switch parental controls. Oh gosh, what is up with my screen? Okay, that's better. Sorry if there's a flicker. That's because that that's how TVs look for some reason on camera. And I don't have a super nice camera either, so. Sorry about that noise, it's just my pet bird. Okay, so you go to the parental control settings. You don't need the app, you can press X if you don't have the app. And here's what you can do. You want to go down to custom settings. Put it to rated for ages 3 and up. And you can restrict this, restrict this, but I don't. I just do next. And you can create a password. So I'm gonna, for an example one, I'm gonna do 5680. I have to confirm it. There. Okay. So now what you can do is, if I put the Nintendo Switch in sleep mode, and then t take it out of sleep mode, now nobody can get into your games, see? And the reason you want to put it at ages 3 and up, the lowest, the youngest age possible, is because there's literally no game on the eShop that's made for ages 3 and up. I even tested this with every game I have. I tried Mario Kart and it didn't work. Can't. Yeah, basically it won't let me do any of these games. Well, except the NES games. I don't know why it lets me do those. Oh, okay, actually it doesn't, that's cool. Okay, so I can't play anything without a password. So basically, if you don't want a younger sibling being annoying and sneaking into your Switch and playing your games, and possibly deleting your save data because they can't read anything, which has happened to me a lot in the past with the 3DS and the DS, like, I'm pretty sure they cannot let me go see if it lets you delete save data. Okay, so you can't delete any save data without the, your password, which is 5680. Okay, so you'd also wouldn't have to worry about your save data getting deleted. What about your software? Can you delete software? Let me do one that's small, just in case it does delete it. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, so yes, you can delete a game. I can confirm that you can you can delete a game, but you can't delete your save data. And you won't be able to go on to any of these unless you put in your password. And also, right down there, right there, if you hold down the plus button, it'll make it so you can put in uh use the thumbstick. So how this works is you take your controller and it shows numbers, and that is going to be the direction you point your thumbstick in. And then an X and Y would be 0 and 9. So if my example password, that's not going to be my actual one, is 5680, we're going to have to go 5, 6, 8, 0. There. And I think the reason they have that one is because even this one right here, People can see typing in the numbers. If there's a bunch of people in the room, they can see it. 
This one lets you do it inconspicuously. Like, it doesn't show you when you're putting it. It doesn't show you which one you're doing. So yeah. And that's basically my method on how to lock your Switch so people can't get into your games and play them. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, please let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this and if it worked for you. I suggest you don't do it if you're prone to forgetting things, because if you forget your passwords, you're kind of screwed. The only other way I think you can get rid of this... We can't even format your Switch. It will not let you format your Switch without the password. So I suggest those that have not a good memory, please don't use this, because I'm sure you would hate to get locked out of your Switch. And the thing is, with the parental controls on, they can't even go and look at your video clips. They can look at pictures, but they can't look at videos. There's a meme I posted on my Twitter. Be sure to follow my Twitter, too, if you have. So I don't think I can look at any videos. Let's... Yeah. Let's look at pictures, which is fine. It doesn't let you watch any videos, which is cool if you don't want your siblings. Does it let you delete them, though? Oh, yeah. Okay, so they could delete those. Just a little idea I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm recording this video pretty late at night just because I was bored. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! But just before I go, I need it. Need it. Need it. Need it! Aw, oh, dang it. It's still not done downloading. Well, guess I'm gonna have to finish it. Finish the download with the snap of my fingers. Hey, it's finished. Oh, but I gotta put in my password to use it. Anyway, also, I'm gonna be showing you guys YouTube on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, you know what? It looks like my speaker died. Let me just pull out. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's not really different from any other YouTube, to be honest. It looks more like YouTube from the Wii U than anything else. You can also change the color. So, increase the contrast. Boom. There, it gets darker which I like that. I leave it like that. You can link it with a TV code, so something that I've never seen any other YouTube device do is with the Wii U and Xbox 360, you can connect your phone to it to put a video on, almost like a remote. But what it looks like you can do with the Switch is this is home console slash portable, so you could link the Nintendo Switch up to a different YouTube device and control it from there, or take a different YouTube device and link it up to your Switch. You can link your Switch up to something else, and link your something else up to the Switch. It's really cool. I'm sorry if you don't understand me right now. It's because I'm recording really late at night. Let's see how good it is, because uh, the Switch tablet runs at 720p. Uh, I'm going to look up. Boom. Okay, let's test the sound quality. Now, I'm not going to judge the sound quality on my TV, because this is an old, crappy... T it's an old, crappy Sony TV. It's, n it's not even that big, look. It's, uh, not big. I don't know if this counts as big considered to most modern TVs. But yeah. Ain't that big. Okay, on to the video. Let uh, Hopefully Nintendo doesn't copyright me just for watching one of their videos. Don't let a single one get away! Hey, it isn't that bad for being on the Switch. Dang. We'll eat 
each need to take down about 10. Okay, let's skip a little further into it. See how the sound quality is when the vocals, the vocal section starts? Let's see how that is. Yeah, I can. It's a really good quality considering the Switch is just a little tablet that can go onto your TV. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to test it in handheld mode. Okay, I'm currently on the Nintendo Switch tablet screen, and to prove it, I'm not tricking you. Here's it's the tablet. So let's continue playing the video. See how it runs in handheld mode. Dang, I need. It's really good. I'm impressed in the quality. Okay, first of all, could I say, this is a pretty impressive portable YouTube. Like, most smartphones nowadays run things and seven run applications like YouTube and Netflix and Hulu and all that in 720p. But me, as a person that grew up in the early 2000s, 2002 to be exact quality was not that good compared to standards today. And let me just say, I'm a person that used YouTube on a 3DS a lot, and I can s it's not that good when you think about it. I mean, because you have to hold a two, you have to hold the big clunky thing with the two screens, and you're only watching it on one screen. I used, I used to use YouTube a lot on the Wii U, but now this has come out I mean, it, I probably on camera it doesn't look like 720p, 60 frames per second, but the f the frames are so smooth. The, I can tell. And this camera that I'm recording with is a 720p camera, so that also makes it easier for you to see the quality. Oh, now my camera is tripping out. What a sick boss battle. Okay, anyway guys, I'd rate... Considering every version of YouTube I've ever used on mobile phones, the 3DS, the Nintendo Wii U, I would rate this one probably a 4 out of five like it's pretty good and plus it's got the exact same layout as the as YouTube on the Nintendo Wii U if you don't believe me go go check it out Nintendo Wii U ver YouTube versus switch YouTube this honestly I feel like loads faster for videos like if I was to tap it it loads it really quick tap another video it loads up really fast And if you if you could see this image with your own eyes instead of the camera lens, it looks amazing. I just can't get over it. So, yeah, I rate the YouTube on the Nintendo Switch four out of five, especially for the fact that when you go when you hover over a video with your highlighter like this, it'll show probably about five seconds of the video, five seconds of gameplay, so you can get an idea of what it is. And see little spoilers of the video. I, I know it sounds stupid, but I just find this kind of thing really cool. 
yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I think it's been awesome. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and let me know what you think of the Nintendo Switch YouTube. I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Angie thinks it's pretty cool too. What do you think? Do you like Nintendo Switch YouTube, Angie? Hmm, I think she needs some enthusiasm there. Oh, uh, she just wants to go sit on the fan. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also, drop a comment if you want my adorable pet dove to be in some future videos. Okay, bye guys. Sorry it's been almost a month since my upload. Like I said before, school.